<laughs> Welcome everyone in this new video tutorial about the multiplayer combat editor. In this video we're going to learn how you can easily update your MC without losing any data you data you can you customized uh, in the MC setting, settings folder. So uh, let's consider you've downloaded the latest the latest update of MC uh, on each uh, you're going to have a new folder, multiplayer combat editor, editor, and you might you also need to download the new examples and graphics folder if you are using the MC built-in examples. Uh, they they have been updated, uh, so you have to update them if you want to have them working properly in your folder. And but maybe you you have MC installed with, with the Unreal Marketplace. And in that case, you're going to have to have it there in your vault. Uh, this is done 3D pathfinding plugin, which is a, a free plugin. Let's consider this is MC. You're going to have the, op the option to install it to, to your engine. So you're going to do that. And after doing this, you are going to have the multiplayer combat editor uh, folder appearing in your engine version, uh, in your engine folder within the plugins marketplace folders. Uh, there is going to be multiplayer combat editor in there. So you are going to consider that the multiplayer combat editor in there in, is the same that this one. I'm going to work in this video using this folder. Uh, so let's do that. So first thing, and this is the window of our project, our tutorial project. So we're going to consider that this is your project. So first thing you want to do is to create a new folder, call that backup, and grab your grab your project, everything. Control C, Control V into the backup into the backup folder. You want to do that. And once this is done, you want to update. You want to update MC within your project, but you want to keep some of the settings you customized. So you want to go to your plugins folder, multiplayer combat editor, contents, and you want to copy the settings folder. I'm going to wait for the first copying to be ended. I should have done that copy beforehand. We are basically going to copy and paste that folder. Apart and we are going to override this plugin with the plugin we've downloaded. And then we are going to recopy our folder into MC folder. So let's do that. Content settings. We are copying settings, pasting it there. Uh, I think maybe I've already, yep, I've already been cop copying this. It doesn't matter like that so you want to go back to your plugins folder delete the multiplayer combat editor then you want to copy the other one then you want to go back to your project folder go to content you want to get rid of examples and graphics and you want to copy the new ones there if you have installed MC through the Unreal Marketplace, you are not going to have access to example and graphics directly to, to um, directly through the marketplace. So you will you will have to download them uh, on each for for example. And once you've done that, maybe maybe you have uh, some C++ file in your project, and in that case, you need to go to plugins, multiplayer combat editor, you want to delete binaries there, then you want to go in your project folder, you want to delete binaries, then you want to right click, generate visual studio project files, 
and then you want to open up your project and say okay when is ask when is asking if you want to recompile uh, but no you don't want to uh, you don't want to open your project at all not at all if you open up your project now uh, the settings you've we are we stored are not going to be in place so you want to go back to plugins multiplayer combat editor content you want to go in settings copy everything go into your settings folder paste everything and replace and then you can open up your tutorial project your project so as i was saying you might want to you might need to recompile you you will have to recompile if you add some c++ file into your project And this is a soft update, which means uh, nothing should be break except for some stuff that's, that are specified in the patch notes. Some stuff related to VFX mostly, uh, which, you, which you might need to replace. But if I'm hitting play, everything should be working like it was before. So that's that's it for this video we've properly updated mc we are just going to open up real quick our developer tool do we have any errors no we don't so that's it for that video hope you guys enjoyed it and hope to see you in the next one bye bye